Now, the document is ready to start modeling the project. So the first thing we will do will be defining the areas of intervention. And for that purpose, we will use the Zonify command that we can find here in the documentation toolbar. So we'll run it, and then we have two options to insert the zones. One is by picking an inner point inside an area or selecting the limits of it. And we will use this option for those areas that uh, have already a boundary curve or when we need to select multiple areas in order that the zone uh, quantifies all these areas at once. So we'll use the first option by now. We click in here and the insert dialog appears. So here we need to define a text for the zone level, for example, main building area. And also whether we want to see the level or not, also the area. And we have some uh, attributes for the text and for the 2D representation of this, of this area. We can change here the hatch pattern, rotation, the scale, or the hatch color. So let's choose this light gray by now. We click OK. And finally, we define the insert point for the, for the drone level. If we see this in 2D, we will see already the 2D representation of this zone, which is that, that solid hatch. Now, if we want to edit this zone, we can do it in different ways. On one hand, we can activate its control points, so we can modify the area through this control point. Just notice that the information of the level has updated. So we'll undo this by now and turn the control points off. Also, you can edit the, the zone from the properties panel. Here under the Lance Design Edit panel. Here we can change the levels, the zone's name, or uh, all the same options basically that we had in the insertion dialog. Now, let's repeat the process, but in this case we will use the limits option to define one zone for all these zones that we have here, that will be the bamboo zone. So we run the Zonify command again, and this time we select the limits option. So now we need to pick all the curves that uh, define this area. Okay. We click enter. Now we insert the level information. And as a hatch color, we'll choose some green. And we click OK. And finally, we insert the level somewhere here. And this information sums up all the, uh, the area of the Six boundary curves we have selected. Now we have finished to create the rest of the zones in this project. And sometimes you may want to uh, copy the attributes of one zone to another, and there is a useful command for that. So we select the zone we want to modify, and here in the edit panel, in the edit area, you can choose this option copy properties from another object. So we select this and finally we pick the object we want to copy the attributes from and as you can see the object update. Once the zones are inserted, they are automatically created in the zoning uh, layer. You can change that if you want from the document properties under layers and here changing the layer where the zones will be created. 